climbing is just like a really cool problem solving, yeah. hustling. It's like uh, um, your mind. Yeah. It's a uh, gymnastic for your mind. And it's when you solve a problem, it's like you get high. <laughs> I don't know how it's to be high, but I'm high on the rocks. <laughs> Come on, stick! Yeah. yeah! I think many people climb because they get the kick and can use their whole body. The community in this sport is so fantastic. It feels like everybody knows each other. We are one group and uh, competing together, not uh, against each other. People ask uh, when you start climbing and uh, in my opinion it's not like you start climbing. It's more like that most people stop climbing. Like from a kid, you, you all climb, you know, and it's natural movements to do. Come on. Good. I think it's just fun to, to continue that playful uh, game. Now we're finishing up with the qualifications, let's head on to the finals. The concept of, of this competition, we um, are competing uh, against each other, one we won. We have eight minutes to uh, do as many routes as uh, we um, can fit. It was really, really fun. I recommend all you guys to uh, compete in bouldering next year because this is the most epic and sick thing ever. Ah, det er uff. Hva er det som skjer i dag? Jeg skal Tege hoppe droppet sitt, så han har selv bygd for første gang. Jeg vet ikke hvorfor, men det er to år nå da, der jeg ikke har tatt det. Det bygger seg jo bra. Jo lenger det teker, jo større blir presset, skulle jeg si. I dag er jeg forhåpentligvis dag. Bolen er her. Slett dems. Det går gutt. Det går gutt. Okay. Så, nei, 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 dette går ikke, det går ikke, så er det... Jo, 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 j
Men ja. <laughs> Vad det är inte tänk vad det är. Ja, ja. <laughs> ja. Det var inte det var inte galet helt åt. Åh, men vi är igen då, det är det. Ja, ta det en till. Alltså gör det tre gånger måste du ta det. Ja. Vi ska bara se då tappa för att ta tre gånger. Det var det gjort. Det var varför vi gjort. Yes. Nu får tjäna jag väl. En gång igen, en gång igen. Då är vi det. Då har du gjort tre gånger. Han måste ha tagit den tre gånger och en gång en av dem måste vara alene. Eller så tälls inte det. Nej. Ja. Ja. Jag stod på toppen. Jag fick ju på mig shortsen en gång. Jag var så nyfiken. Jag vet inte. Ja. Jag är inte så press, men det är väldigt tufft att göra. Jag har ju sagt att familjen med dig ska göra det då. Ja, då måste du göra det. Det er mye tyngre greier enn du tror da. Så må du bare ikke gjøre noe galt, ikke bremse eller noe sånt dumt. Dere bare så bare kjøre det. Det er bare å kjøre det. Det var bare å kjøre det. Sånn blikk, jeg hadde helt til jordet, og nå har jeg sånn blikk. Men jeg har ikke lyst til å stå så lenge her, for hvis jeg ser opp der, så ser det så skummelt ut. Ok, ja. Stikk på hjul med han, eller om du kommer bare alene. Nei, dette er en kikkas. Dette er anbefalet. Kan du sitte på en sykkel? Hopp i vei. Ingen problem. Se. Det er så godt. Jeg vil bare to ganger igjen nå. Bra. Jeg har ikke vært så redd på mange år. Ikke sånn avslutningstog. Nei, det var en stor check på lista mi. Det er kanskje den største jeg har. Ja. Så nå må jeg finne meg en ny. Ja! Ja! My name is Claudio Cañazo from Venezuela. I'm here free fly organizing for Extreme Week. I mean, this week here, we have some of the best organizers in the world. We are here helping out organizing the wingsuiters at Skydive Voss. We got a lot of cool stuff planned this week as well. A little bit of XRW. Uh, we're going to do some more demo jumps. We're going to put some groups together. We've got small groups, big groups, well, small suits, big suits, mostly big groups, and uh, a whole lot of fun planned. I think uh, the level around here is pretty good. There's a lot of good flyers, so it's going to be a good time. But we did get a chance to flap our wings on Sunday and yesterday. We got a cool jump in, you know, demo jump with a flag. We got one yesterday before the weather came in and uh, ruined everything for us. And we made like a really nice little lightway uh, formation just to warm everyone up and get used to it. And then we went up and built a, I pulled in a few more friends. We were up to a 12 way. And just it's one of my favorite formations. It's just a smiley face, it's just to get the um, get the week off to a really nice, happy start. So I took the group for day two, um, and we managed just one jump yesterday. Um, it was awesome to jump with some of the local guys. Um, I am in love with this place. I'm in love with this country. I want to move here. <laughs> we started with really crazy jump over uh, over the lake yeah. into uh, into the venue flying uh, our canopies next to uh, the massive Norwegian flag, 300 square feet. Just super impressive to, uh, to fly next to a uh, huge object. I'm a 
keep it going till there ain't nothing left. Going till there ain't nothing. Keep the flame on max. I'ma keep it going till there ain't nothing left. Going till there ain't nothing. Keep the flame on max. I'ma keep it going till there ain't nothing left. Going till there ain't nothing. Keep the flame on max. I'ma keep it going till there ain't nothing left. Going till there ain't nothing. Keep the flame on. Gotta 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 keep the flame on. Fantastisk gøy. Helt nydelig. Det var livets innsats.
Guys, listen. listen up. I want to tell you a quick story about Nöcken. About 50 years ago, there was a child in Vost that was not loved by its parents. This child that was thrown in the river, but the child survived and it turned into a water demon known as Nöcken. Nöcken can look like a piece of log, a piece of moss, or it could even be in the shape of an old and ugly bearded man. The only chance you have of surviving is to outrun it. Do you say moss? Yeah. So like something like that? Like floating, like that? Floating moss, yeah. Like that. 